What's up Facebook land, Pete Moriarty here and today I am unboxing my brand new Google Home Hub. Check it out, pretty awesome. Uh, this just arrived, it was announced at Google's event uh, just a couple of weeks ago. I jumped on and pre-ordered as soon as I watched the event and it has finally arrived, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to unbox it and tell you a little bit about what this device does. Um, so a year or so ago Google came out with their Google Home. I've got one of the original Google Homes here and they quickly followed up with the Google Home Mini as well. Um, and I've been using both of these devices in my home since they launched. I've got the Home that kind of sits in the lounge room in the main area and then I've got the Home Mini which sits in my home office. Um, and this is the easiest way to use Google's Assistant. Um, so that's going to connect to your calendar, um, connect to you know the Google Web and answer any questions that you might have. Um, and you can also use it to connect to third-party apps, like maybe if you've got some smart switches or smart light globes, you can tell it to turn on and off the TV. Uh, if you've got a Chromecast, like I've got on the TV sitting behind me here, uh, you can tell it to play stuff from YouTube or play music from Spotify or whatever onto the Chromecast, which is pretty groovy as well. Um, to be honest, there's still a few things that's missing in the Google Assistant land for me. Um, number one is I use the Sonos music system at home and um, Sonos haven't built in their integration for Google Assistant just yet, which kind of sucks. Uh, it means that I can't take full advantage of just telling Google to play music and have it play all throughout my house, which I like. Now, there is the option to use something like Chromecast Audio uh, and you've got to you know, buy one of those and plug them into each one of your stereos. Uh, but I like some of the app features of the Sonos system and the way that it um, plays music. So unfortunately, no dice there. Um, the other thing with these is I you know, went full hog and I got smart switches, I got smart light globes and I connected them all up. And while it was pretty groovy to be able to tell Google to turn lights on and off, eh, I didn't find it all that useful. It's all right, it's pretty cool, um, but it's not absolutely amazing. So the Google Assistant has been a kind of okay experience for me but not completely life-changing just yet. So, why did I buy one of these Google Home Hubs? Um, what I liked about this is this one actually has a screen, as you can see it there. Um, and so the Google Home Hub here is the first one to actually have a display. Now, Google's trying to get more and more integrated with the rest of everything that's happening in your house. As I said, light globes, smart switches, uh, streaming uh, stuff over to your TV, which I do use it quite a lot for. and. The Home Hub is designed to be in one of two places, either in the bedroom next to your bed um, and you can use it as kind of like a nightstand, displaying photos, um, uh, you know, it can show off, uh, you know, other bits and pieces like, you know, your day, uh, you know, what's coming up in your calendar events and those kind of things. Or you are potentially going to use it like, for example, in the kitchen um, and you can use it to play YouTube videos of maybe recipes uh, and you might use it in the kitchen, um, for example, to make a phone call using Google Duo. I don't really use that all that often. We have too many messaging apps and Google Duo just seems to be yet another plus one from Google uh, that you know not that many people use. Anyway, what I bought this for is, I, I don't like having any tech in my bedroom, so um, I'm gonna skip out on that option, but I like the idea of having this in the kitchen and being able to use it for uh, YouTube cooking videos, which I use quite a bit, um, and just being able to have kind of my stuff there at my fingertips. So for example, if I want to switch a light on and off, it's there. If I want to interact with something else in the Google Home, like uh, maybe some content that I'm streaming to a TV, I can adjust the volume, um, I can start and stop, anything like that, right from the Google Home Hub here. So that's why I bought one. Um, it was about 200 bucks, I think it was maybe 220. Um, and I think that's a pretty fair price for what you're getting. Um, I think the main downside of this thing is you're not actually getting a camera on it. Um, it's only got a microphone, and a, an ambient light sensor on the front. Um, so unfortunately, you're, you're not getting a, a, a video hangouts experience, which is what I was expecting and kind of what I thought it would be really handy for, to click one button and you know video call a family member right from the kitchen. Anyway, so this is the actual device. This is the first time that I've opened it. It's actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Um, it's about the size of a little bit smaller than my hands. I've got pretty big hands. Um, and I've ordered one in, uh, in charcoal, so you can see the uh, the back here is quite nice, and apparently it's got a, a fully fledged speaker in the back there. So apparently the sound out of this will be pretty good. Um, this is the little display here, and you can see uh, there's a couple of sensors on the top. It's got the, the proverbial off switch on the back if you want it to stop listening to you. Uh, and there we go, that's it. Let's see what else is in the box here. 
All right, cool. So we have uh, Australian power plug. Um, I ordered this one directly from Google's website in Australia, uh, but uh, you can expect to see these appearing in your local JB Hi-Fi, I'm sure, before long, if they're not already, already out there. Now, it looks like I have a getting started guide, uh, which is probably gonna give me the basics of getting started with Google Home. Plug it in, get the app, and then start talking to Google. Alrighty, cool. I will report back my findings on how I go uh, with my new Google Home Hub. Uh, this was released and, uh, and announced just recently in the last couple of weeks from Google, uh, and I've now got one of my own here, which is pretty cool, and I'll keep you posted on how I go, what I use it for, and if you have any questions on the Home Hub, just drop them right below this video, and I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, take care.